Hello and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 with, of course, Marafi, which is currently, uh, I, I, I wanted to say something, but then I didn't. But then I was like, maybe I should have said it, and now I'm like, if I now say it, it's not going to be as funny anymore, but, uh, yeah, she's currently, currently surrounded by three armies. You could say she's being gang-banged, which she would not really protest too much to. So, yeah, but another case army, that the one that we've beaten over at Tyrant Peak, or not really beaten, it defeated us, but we have severely damaged, is now marching south to Tyrant Peak. I have moved up my army back north, Le Clan Leviathan Rage. What a beautiful name. Um, why do we have mounted human? What the hell? What? Bernhoff the Butcher of Bernhoff's Brigade. Uh, he's of the Emp a general of the Empire. He has men at arms, which makes no sense because that's a Bretonian army. I do love this, by the way, that they have like these uh, these human combinations, like Empire and Bretonian, because he is like free company militia from the Empire, but also yeoman archers from Bretonia. And then he has a mortar and a field trebuchet, because yeah. If we have firepower, we also need, like, these huge machines of wood that just lob rocks at the, our enemies, because why use mortars? Uh, we also broken down our treaties with Clarkerent, not Clarkerent, Heck Graf. So, we are going to go to war against them soon enough. We have received a mission to destroy Philip Billings and his army. Cruelty but, of violent. course, our army here is not strong enough to take them on. Actually, they would probably be strong enough to take them on, but... I don't want to leave Trotex Causeway open, because I don't know where Hexoetl is. Uh, or Master Mundi in that case. Because I, I see Hexoetl, but Master Mundi is not in it. I hear dinosaurs. Oh yeah, because there is a dinosaur right there. Uh, of course, we have made the land very beautiful with like these we fiery veins of destruction. destruction. <laughs> you want me to join the Lormas? No. I want you to join me in a confederation, my friend. Hak Ganef and Hak Graf are now at war. Klaxlan and the Clan Pestilence are now at war. And the New World Colonies are marching north. If he's attacking Trotex Causeway, no problem. If he's going to attack the rare pool of Tapok, a little bit more of a problem. Um, yeah, this army is continuing to march south. Then, of course, we have this army marching north, but no problem. They're going to get destroyed and, yeah, siege the ancient city of Quintex further. Rookie I don't mind. Rookie. Um, you're just going to I go into Iron Spike. Now. I would like you to just recruit a couple of units. Get me uh, some spears over here. Uh, oh, we can't get right uh, them right now. So get me some... Well, dual weapons are nice, but I would like to have them with the great swords, I guess. What's the difference? Oh, they have armor-piercing missiles. I see. Okay, they are armor-piercing in melee, but they have armor-piercing missiles. And they also have armor-piercing missiles, but why? What's the difference between them? They're anti-infantry? Hmm. Um, we're gonna get some boring old shades then. Or some more black arc corsairs, I don't know. Maybe nothing right now. And as I said it, I'm going to give them a, a single unit of black arc corsairs and some dark shades. We are building a lot of stuff everywhere. Look at this mess. <laughs> um, okay, negative is now under siege by Hakgraf. Hakgraf is something I wanted to attack as I said before. So, once we have con de dealt with this stuff down here, we're going to march up north. We also actually can do the next ritual very soon, but I would like to at least have some provinces of Hagrath, and with that I mean everything, before I attack. Now I continue with the rituals, but that's always a, you know, a dangerous thing to do, because I don't want to fall behind Lothan, which... Yeah, they are going to cont uh, to finish their ritual. If you attacked this city, for example, that would have probably worked out better for you. I don't know if this is also a... I might have been... 
also a capital, province capital. Uh, the vortex is pretty large. Hexotal, yeah, they they can't do anything. They're progressing towards the ritual of human nation. Yeah, they can't do anything. Um, the clan pestilence, they might actually be more of a danger. And then we have these people down here that I can't deal anything with. If I destroy Hexotal, the last defenders are going to take over and they might actually be more of a threat, so I don't want to do that. Lord of fear. You have a nice army, but you have like a really well developed... You have a Temple of Cain. Hargenev Executioners. Black Dragon. Yeah, you have like way too much stuff down here. <laughs> um, and apparently we can live in this pretty easily. Fear my malice. What dark and Hard callous plans do you wish to lay Well, I would like to trade with most of you people, but for some reason I can't. Which I don't understand. Maybe this does not count as a... What's this? A skull reef. This does not count as like a connection to my port, which I don't understand. But my next port would be down here, which I didn't do no longer have a land connection to because this is Titan Peak, this uh, this province right here. Sildra Tor. Sildra Tor might actually have a little bit more problems against this Chaos army, but I doubt it. Um, I would like to have Ocus here, get more money. End the turn. The ancient city of Quintex is defended by a very, very strong army. The most elite army we can actually have, so I'm not worried. I forgot the humans. Um, yeah, I forgot about the humans that are marching uh, north. Population surplus in all of my provinces, that's nice. The Clan Pestilence has started a ritual. And Lovan has finished its ritual. Negriff is trying to flee with his last army, so like, nope, I'm out of here. After destroying my Black Ark, these bastards. We definitely should do the sacrifice to Anthati again. Because it gives us uh, a huge bonus. Okay, he's attacking Chotex Causeway, and he actually has a lot more troops here than I hoped he would have. But, do we have walls? No, we don't. This battle will take place outside of him. He has a lot of... Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I'm not worried about his infantry too much. I'm more worried about all of these mortars, but we do have a lot of cavalry. And we're, of course, going to... Con um, we're gonna fight everything at the same time. The lords... Maybe a problem, maybe not. Let's see if we can win this. Or if they are going to take it. At least they're only going to conquer Shotex Causeway and not burn it down, at least I hope so. Maybe they're just going to raise it, uh, sack it. Pistolius, no worries. Crossbows, maybe a little bit, but I don't think they're armor piercing. So, they're not going to do much damage against my swords. I have a death hack, and she's just going to wreck all of these spears and swords, like that's pretty easy. I think the the new factions are quite a lot stronger than the old factions, so... Oh man, I, I'm... As soon as Mortal Empires are coming is coming out, I'm just gonna have an army of Hydras destroy an Imperial army. Just eat all of them. That's going to be so much fun. Ah, oh, imagine a Hydra fighting a Dragon Ogre or something. That's... Oh, that's... scary. Actually, we do have Chaos in this... Uh, in these battles already, but... You know what I mean. Okay, so... Flag. That's a pretty cool temple. Don't know where that water... Wh where's this water coming from? Yeah, this is uh, Chotex Causeway, the one we've taken over. Enemy reinforcements are coming from over here, but his mortars are in this army, if I remember correctly. No? Are they not? Dark Riders. Send our Dark Riders over here. Maybe we can surprise some of his units. Um, 
Dark Kazir is over here. Just quickly putting my units together so that I can control them a little bit easier. I have a lot of Dark Shots. I don't want you to run. And we're just going to get a long line of infantry right behind. And our Black Arc Corsairs are going to be our last line of defense here. Sadly, we don't really have like a good position where I could hold. Actually, we can definitely just hold all the way back here. Is this a uh, this is the map? And yeah, I want to hold right here where I can uh, use my ranged units to the most efficiency. So let's start the battle and just move our army back. Let's see. Uh. Okay, that was maybe not the best choice because now they are going to fire at me. But where are his mortars? Yeah, yikes. There's also his lord on a horse. Yes. Shouldn't catch my dark riders. Okay, where are his mortars? Nowhere to be seen. Weird. Um, can I get you to hide or just ride so far away that he loses interest? There are his mortars, okay. I see. And he's firing at me already? Just right away. And we're going to move our units into a new position. So we're gonna get a lot of assaults right here. A bunch of our dark shots to form up right there. Then we're going to get our Corsairs to hold this front. And three of our dark shots right behind them. And we have two swordsmen that can. Ah, okay, this is actually. They can trust. No, no, no. Two of our swordsmen. I suppose three swordsmen right here. You do have most archers, but I'm gonna get two of these archers over here. The death hack. Uh, it's going to move to the right and our lord right here He has not left my cavalry alone, so Let's try to just surround his general. I'm not sure if he's going to win against my dark riders, but I hope not <laughs> He is advancing on us uh, There is a slight opening right now And he's going to fire at us my lord is not on a horse. <laughs> Did not kill a single unit with that. Go on, fire. Open fire. Okay, you don't want to fire. That's fine. Oh, he charged us. What a bastard. Yeah, fire at these back there. Warm up. Okay. More and more units are beginning to open fire. Pistoliers have no chance of survival here. As expected. Oh yeah, don't don't flee there, that's a stupid decision. Move a bit closer. He is uh, firing at me with his own crossbows. What's my cavalry doing? Still fighting his lord. Get one of these units out of there. Because I want to attack these mortars. Ah, the mortars are actually firing on my cavalry, which is fine. Very acceptable. Send in our units here. As well as the Lord. Actually, attack the enemy Lord. Death hack, it's time for you to act. And get our swordsmen to flank around here. Uh, and we can close this front now, this, this flank, and attack them from here, in the back. My cavalry unit has made it over to the mortars, while two are still fighting this lord. What's this? Wavering? Shaken, okay. Yeah, just attack these three company militia. 
Well, you are absolutely destroying these units. Go and attack the Halberdiers. You fire at these crossbows. Dreadlord, yes. Uh, the crossbows are the only small problem we have, but look at this. Our swordsmen are now in battle with the halberdiers and they're probably going to destroy them. Uh, the mortars have been silenced and are going to get destroyed. This lord over here is actually taking out my cavalry, but that's not too bad, because he is not in the battle over here, where I am killing the other general. And this fight also has been won. Go over and attack them in the rear. The crossbowman. He has a lot of crossbowmen. <laughs> but we also have a lot of dark shots, which need to fire on his da uh, crossbowman here. Because they're the only unit that is really a problem. What's happening here? Oh, we have the murderous prowess now active. That might make our cavalry win. Look at this. Our ca we are now flanking around, attacking them in the rear. And the death hack is the first one to charge in. She has killed a bunch of people here. Um, we did lose a lot of our black archers yes, but they also took the front uh, the brunt of the damage here, the enemy. So continue to do kill the crossbowmen. Over here, actually, they are holding quite well against our bleak swords, but they're still going to lose. Can't believe my cavalry is still fighting the mortars. Oh, you know what? It's because they actually are literally fighting the mortars and not the crew. Ch charge in again. Maybe now you actually fight the crew. Um, the lord over here still fighting. Still fighting the good fight. Just speed it up a little bit. Um, fire at these guys. Yeah, I want you to kill most of them. Can you turn around and just fire at all these units fleeing? You attack these guys. Should be still uh, fighting these mortars. Yeah, kill this lord, please. That's going to be good. And you're destroying everyone that is fleeing this way. Nice. Kill the Lord. You are going to kill the Lord. The Lord has been slain. Let's destroy these mortars now. To make sure they don't come back. And... I mean, we can charge out and attack them, but this is the battle. Close victory. Close victory?! We've absolutely demolished them. The Dark Shards, of course, once more have proven their worth, but look at that. He lost 1,400 units, or men, and I only lost like 289. Exactly, 289. Magtic and Shielder have defended Chotex, uh Crossway, I think it's called. Or Crossing. Dolph Frohlichmann, he was unable to... Attack the Ayers, uh, Dark Elves. I mean, what what did you expect with such an army to attack us? What a foolish man he is. And he survived, but his ally, the one that joined his battle in his in his foolish quest here, he did not survive. He did not make it out. We've captured him alive, and then we've tortured him for like two years. You know, the usual. Because uh, I think the Dark Elves are actually pretty good in keeping people alive. So, we're going to follow this army most likely and just end it. 
And then I might... I, I don't know if I want to expand south. It's dangerous because Master Mundi is chilling down there somewhere. Actually, isn't he fighting another war? But I don't want to continue war with the New World Colonies. We have to destroy them. Because they're never gonna, going to leave me a lot, uh, in peace now. So, I have no other choice but to end them for once. Uh, once and for all. Close victory. I still don't see that. We've taken 800 slaves and we got 4,000 gold out of this. Yeah, the second army was completely demolished. Yeah, they're also taking attrition as soon as they enter our land because we are uh, chaos corrupted. So that's pretty nice. Uh, United against us. What? Thief snatchers too. What? What? How? What do you mean united against us? Warband of the Crow. Okay. Uh, what? Why? Why? Who? United against us. Thief snatchers says. Oh, by Hexotl. And Hexotl. The Thief snatchers. Where are you? Up here. Yeah, they have this and that. Destroy this army. Or oh, defeat it, actually. It's not too bad. We got a lot of. Uh, not a lot, but some scrolls out of this. And as we see, again, Lothan is close behind. We have to do something Blood against them. Um, you're going to destroy this army. Carnage and bloodshed because I want these slaves. Yes. More. More. And then you're going to move Crawl, over here. Move. Ah, it's causeway, not crossway. The corruption is spreading. Um, I definitely want to upgrade the garrison force here, so let's do that. Dreadlord, at your command. We are going to get a I couple of spears cross. and maybe another unit, two units of swordsmen. Then we're going to attack Mako Peaks and we are going to take it over. Because he also has the Monument of s s the Sun and the Shrine of Sotex. So we do have this province under our control then and can then move over here. Uh, the Jungle of Pahual is going to be our, no no <laughs> our new southern border. We do need Murafi down here if we want to take out um, these guys. Exotal. This army, no problem. We defeated. And let's return. This army is also going to be no problem whatsoever. Um, what are the butcher is going to destroy Sapol's lair? I might just ignore this province. I mean, there's not much. For me to have from down here, I don't know, man. I do need to get someone over there. Do I have another lord somewhere? Do I only have two armies right now? Um, I have Morafi, I have Shielder, and I have Lekla Levithian. I have three armies. Okay, three armies are still very expensive. So I am the first you are my Dafak. I'm gonna give you the Black Cauldron now. Because why not? A gift from Cain containing the secret of eternal youth and beauty. His brides may bath in it to renew their vitality. But aren't we all immortal? Um, we're going to perform this right. Suck. And... Who else has leveled up? Shielder. Sadistic. Yes. Why not? And also, oh, Shielder again. Well, she's more of a inspiring unit down here, huh? Oh, Kindle the Fury. Strength through Spite. I might get her this, where she's like a really good leader of an army instead of a warrior. Settlement upgrade in the Venom Glanes in the Circle of Destruction. Um, um, I don't want that right now, but I'm gonna get it either way. Oh, I can only get one, okay. Then we have Scarpel's Lair. Mm, Sufferat's probably going to survive, so, yes. And who are you? Lakhelm, Leviathan Thigh and Rage. Of course. And you are a good com. I don't know, this is probably General? Or this is. I don't know. This is commander, this is fighter, and this is general, I guess. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, you're gonna get... The option to carry out lightning strike battle will appear on the pre-battle panel. Enabling this prevents reinforcements from joining the battle. Oh, nice. 
That's pretty cool. I would love to use it over here. Um, who's sieging me, by the way? Um, Chaos? Yes. Um, we could just, you know, do this automatically. But... Uh, actually, I am going to do this automatically. Because why not? Uh, we have fought enough armies against Chaos, and we know how this is going to turn out. So, we didn't lose anything. Um, the Cold One Chariot actually killed a New bunch of units. Um, we're going to enslave them. And we have absolutely destroyed them. So the Servants of Chaos are destroyed. Stop with the stupid bell. I found, I thought it was funny at first, but now it's just annoying. Again, this chariot apparently is absolutely powerful. And a thousand slaves! Jesus. Alright. And end chaos here. Just, yeah. Just end them. Again, 700 slaves. Quite a lot. And... Can we get like units that are cool? You have Black Guard of Nagorn, we already have them. I don't think we can get anything new. But Quintex is really happy right now because of the of everything. I'm going to march you ah, well the problem is I want to I'm not gonna march Morafi south. I'm going to march this army. Now this army is going to take over this province and then march north to attack from this side. This army down here is tasked with taking out the New World colonies and protecting our southern border. Chotex Causeway is, you know, being defended, or has a garrison force, so I, I'm not too worried about them. Lord of our Dread King welcomes you. Yes. What do you wish to discuss? Um, how about I give you, like, 15,000 gold? Oh, you would actually do that now, huh? Uh, how about I cut graph? I could cut you down They're not so happy about me anymore, but... Um, if I give them 20,000 gold, they might be more happy. Definitely not. Well, I shouldn't have uh, broken all of my trees with them then. Malevolent Lord, How about Hagaganeth? You do like me somewhat, so... If you... No. Should I try to make a confederation with the Black Hole Coven? I mean, they're not really doing that much for me, and... I don't know why I would want them. So no, I'm not gonna do that. Yes. Nagarond is too strong for me, and Lord of Fear, noble uh, Can I get something else with you? Wound. Maybe this a defensive alliance? And you never, mm, never. If you insist. Yeah, okay. I just want you to be a bit more happy about me. No, don't give them like a thousand gold. Don't want to give them too Ill much. Considered. Ill-considered, he says. Well, if he only knew. We now have 10,000 slaves. Before we had like 4,000 or 5,000. Um, we are getting most of our slaves in our capital, of course, which is doing well, and iron the Black Coast as well. We don't have a slave market over here. Sadly, I uh, might destroy something to get it. For example, I think we're going to get rid of the guild halls right here. Uh, one moment. I'm being... Uh. Oh, it's just my thumb. Yeah, well. Just fucking rings. <laughs> my brother. I thought I was actually... Someone was uh, riding me, but no. No one wants anything from me. Good. I don't want to be bothered. Um, we're just going to spend all of this gold, basically, to get everything upgraded. So, that's pretty cool. Um, what did I want over here? The garrison force? No. Ah, this, yes, the vine orchid. Um, we can upgrade this. What else needs upgrading right now? Oh, wow, we are pretty well developed already. Uh, finally, <laughs> not already. Uh, destroy this. Build me this, and upgrade these buildings as well. I don't want these buildings in like these smaller uh, settlements, uh, these larger settlements, because we don't need them there. The mirror pool of 
Yep. True enough. Um, what else can we do? Nothing. Some skill points are unassigned. Uh, it's my sorceress. She's going to get a cold one. Which makes no sense because she's a fire sorceress, but you know what I mean. It does make sense, but uh, it was a bad joke. I am the first sorceress. Um, I might just move you north. We're going to attack... Wait, the Circle of Destruction is mine? <laughs> Uh, I remember last episode I was confused as to why I could build something in the uh, circle of destruction, but it's actually mine, so. Never mind that. Hackergrav controls no province over here. Actually, they do. They have the black light tower. But I don't think they're gonna attack us from there. And even then, we have, like, the Hotex col column. So, yeah, you're going to go force march. And you're going to march to the Venom Glade so that we can attack Clark Herent. You are my assassin. And you are going to get a new skill. Now, increase income from slaves. We don't need that. What we do need is to have you be a super mad survivalist. Mother of the and you are my death hack. You are surprisingly bad at fighting. But you're also just level 12. So you're gonna get um, Chaos Corruption, because that's always nice to just spread it naturally. And then we have ah, beautiful Marafi, Dreaded Slaver, 25% more slaves. Beautiful. Yeah, that's not going to stop now. My brother is asking the important questions, which I cannot translate to German because I do not know the name of that um, food type. So, Karakar is under siege. Something. What do you want? So speak. You want a non-aggression pact? No. We are going to war. Very soon. So we're not going to have a non-aggression pact with you. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Hargenif and Nagarif are now at war. It took them longer than I expected. And of course the warband of the Hound is going to attack us and we're going to destroy them. And we're going to take all of them as slaves. Yes. More power. More power. More. And you're just <laughs> destroying... I don't know if you win against Bay Island or what's going on there, but... Uh, yeah. Recruit a lord. Now, sister of the Courant, raise another army and put it under command of one of your seduced puppets. You will lead many warriors if we are to put our son... Uh, put your son in the vortex. We've killed an enemy. Bold. This one is no craven. Oh, she's going to destroy Retreat. this army. Warband of the Hund. More slaves and ruins end. Nice. Be quick. You're going to force march over I here because I work. need you to regain these provinces under our control and then settle or attack them from there. You might win against uh, Scripple's Lair because Scripple's Lair does not have a death hack yet. I'm gonna spend this score. No. It's not worth it. He's definitely going to attack it before it, before I can do something there. Um, so, oh, so do not waste my time with I would like to make peace, my friend. And then we have the teeth snatchers. Oh, they're rogue well, armies. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna make a peace agreement with these guys because I don't really need to have them be at war with me. Who calls? You probably Your won't peace it in this point. Oh, you don't? Well, that's a bit of a problem for you, isn't it? Because I have an army over here. And this army is... Uh, didn't I recruit troops over here? I thought I recruited troops over here. Interesting. Uh, the, the Mirror Pool of Chotek 
is going to have... Maybe I'm gonna build the roads over here? Or the slave market? I'm gonna build the roads over here. Ruthless. And you're going to attack Maku Peaks. And this is a battle definitely we're going to fight. Oh, we won't fight ourselves right now at least. Um, we have a gleaming pendant. We're gonna get a couple of Withdraw siege equipment here. And we have to siege this, so might as well. And yeah. We could send an army against Clan Pestilence, but why? There's no need for this one right now. You are Le Clan. Yeah, you need the. 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 Um, the Pegasus, because otherwise uh, you can't get the Black Dragon. Scarpel's Lair, I do not want to get that. Iron Peaks, we can build something in the Moon Shard. Um, we want. probably. What would I want over here? We don't have a cavalry unit over here. Uh, the moon shard. I might get a garrison force. Now, why don't we get a slave market over here? Seems good. The ashen coast. Uh, nothing there. And then we have Sildra Tor, where I can build a bunch of stuff now. So let's get the halls of hedonism. We're going to get um, a dreadman's maybe. I wish it would give me garrison forces. Uh, we could get the Sorcerer's Abode, but I don't know if I need that. I might get the House of Assassins over here, because that sounds pretty wild. And then we can... could get a second building. Mm. Untouchable. Undefeatable. And we're going to get the Sorcerer's Abode. And that's my money spent. And the turn. Yeah, Marafi is still marching north, of course. On her small little Pegasus. Uh, Lovan and Negrev have made a confederation. Which... <laughs> it's funny because... Um, wow, Lovan is actually... Jesus Christ, they are large. Um, Lovan has now land in Negarond. Or on our continent. We can't accept that. We can't tolerate that. Get, get that crap out of here. <laughs> We have to Your put in stop to them. So Belsamon Gatesmiter, what do you want? A military alliance. I agree, my friend. Because with you, I might do a confederation. Even though I don't want your lands, actually. Ferwin von Raukov. He's a hero, a marshal. Marching around my land like he owns this place. Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> What's going on over here in Bear Isle? Yes. Um, raise a sack a settlement to. I failed this mission. Okay. They disappeared at the mirror pool of Topak. Mm. Eh, Tepok? It's Tepok, not Topak. Whatever. So, where is this? Lo oh, um. It's taken over. Hack Graf now rules over Karen Car, which is a slight problem, but we could actually get this now. But he does have an army over here, of the Witch King. which means that he might attack the Twisted Glades. I am Morafi. I am Morafi. I know who you are. I've played with you for Ride the whole game, Solifet. if you haven't noticed. Next round, we can attack them. I have dark purpose. You have dark desires. The very air is Get us some more stuff over here. What else did we construct? Some other stuff. You are my assassin, and you are going to be a Counter Strike. No, <laughs> Counter Striker. Sorry. Um, Get you gutter fighter for now, because you have put a skill into that already. Venom Glade, sure, let's upgrade that. And that's about it. No, that's not about it. Yes, this army down here needs to continue their siege. This is all fine. So 
uh, Chotex Causeway is well defended. The garrison force is going to be uh, upgraded with the walls very soon, so no worries down there. Titan Peak is going to get under our control. This guy is upgrading his army and is going to destroy Sarpel's lair. But we're going to just move around and resettle this and then attack Clarek Spire with his army. And we are going to attack them from this side. We do need Rodrak Spire and Drakar Spire. But I might ignore these provinces for now and just move from this side over into... Oh, he is resettling these provinces, which is nice. Because I want this province as well. But we're going to take Clown Car and Hackgraf and it's going to be glorious. It's, it is just going to be glorious. Make ready for a civil war. It's a, uh, there are only four Dark Elf factions left in Nagorond, which is Nagorond. It's me. It's Hackgraf and it's Clown... No, it's Hack... Ganev. I'm, I'm getting <laughs> better with these names. Yeah, that's my... So that's nice. It's, it's really good that I'm getting better with these names because we are slowly but surely destroying all of them. Though I'm going to try to make a confederation with Hak Garnev. We will never confederate with Malekith and I'm probably not going to declare war against him either. This battle against uh, the humans in the south is going to be very interesting because I don't have this uh, rather strong army down there. Like, we only have some bleak swords and dark shards. Followers of chaos, what? The third victim was also known to the sorceress, but this was no enemy. The pupil looked upon her teacher and saw the true cost of dark magic. <laughs> Success breeds expectation, and the Witch King demands Especially when there are others who incite their own rituals of possession over the Vortex. I do like these cutscenes. But we have finished the ritual and of course now we are having a little bit of a money problem. Because our armies, armies are pretty expensive. But once we control most of Karen Car, it's going to be a little bit easier. Okay, so this is a this is a slight problem because Banhoff the Butcher, he has a strong army. Um, you're going to... Uh, do I want to treasure? No, just colonize. So that's the this is the problem. Your army is like a bit beaten now. You're definitely going to get Titan Peak the Black Spire immediately. And we're going to upgrade this quickly. Can I? I can trade with people again. God bless the trade. Let the money flow in, because this is going to give us so much gold. I'm sure your little message will be most as you said. Okay, so as I uh, suspected, this this right here does not count as a land connection. So we do have to need to connect to this port, which means if we lose Black Spire over here or Tyrant Peak, I don't know which one it is, which controls this land right here this is going to break the connection so that's important to note uh, they are really mad at us Fear but I don't mind I'm sure your little message will be most we will have much more gold now at our ex exposal uh, clan pestilence I see you. let's trade deal in slaves. Agree. I might want to have a defensive alliance with you or military even? Like, y y I don't think you are. You are actually the strongest. Which is surprising. Um, the spineless, easy to... Easy to... Uh, prone to flee. <laughs> this one often sends troops to capture the runes left behind by destructive forces. Let's try... No, I don't want to 
military alliance with you, just in case. We do have another aggression pact. Hey, vampire coast, do you wanna, you wanna like trade or something? Yes. Nice. Um, and with that, we have <laughs> taken care of the money problem for now, at least. Um, we do need these two buildings, so we're not gonna build anything here right now. Let us declare war against Takraf. They are not allied with anyone. Um, war. We want to discuss war, and we're going to be not. We are going to be untrustworthy, but. We already have made our, all our treaties, so who cares? March against Clarkhadent, or Clarencom, and I'm gonna do this Tactical automatically. Retreat. And we're going to oh, 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 twelve thousand gold. Just going to occupy it. Uh, she has gained a slaver. So let's see, what do we have in Clarencom as a special building? Uh, the layers of Clark Clarencom. Deep below the Tower of Doom. All manners of beasts are kept and investigated in the name of greater power. Exotic animal resource protection, 100 cages, upkeep for all hydras and war, uh, for harpies and war hydras, and three war hydras as the garrison force. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty strong. Um, For now we're going to get the woodman hunt. Uh, woods, man's, woods. You know what I mean. Woodsman's hut. Uh, the twisted glades are going to get the roads. And Morafi. No, this is not Morafi. This is my sorceress. Sorceress, you're going to upgrade your flame storm further. Commandment available, of course, of course. Um, how about tax rate? Unassigned skill points to Lacklane, Levy, and Thai and Rage. Um, she's going to be a quartermaster. Less upkeep for her units means more gold for me. Which, you know, it's pretty uh, self explanatory. Hexotl. You are gaining strength. We're going to attack Marco Pix next turn. Hexotl is getting stronger, which I don't like. Shotex Coastway does have a garrison, but they can't stop a full-on Lizardman invasion. The followers of Chaos have been destroyed. Not too worrisome. Admiral Polkesha of Hackgraf. Of course, we have some. Are uh, oh, you attacking negative? Okay, your army is marching south. Which means I have to take care of this province up here first before I march further west. So car and car, which we are going to get. The special building is probably going to give us a lot of black arc corsairs, because you know that's like where the most slavers and raiders come from. So I expect that to be a special building over there. I know some some lore about the Dark Elves, don't the Druchi or Druki. I don't like the term Druki. I don't know why. I think Drachi is or Druchi is sounding better. Yeah, you're going to attack Scarpel's Lair as I expected. You're not going to just uh Oh you're just raiding it, okay. And you took it over? You did took it over. Take it over. Settlement lost. Um, complete the following ritual. Yes, of course. Um, we are not going to do that soon, though. So, where is okay? The army is actually all the way up here. So, where's the sec? Oh, it's a okay. So we need to take Blacklight Tower, and then count car. Do we have any trees with Nagarond? Bloodthirsty killers, and you seek to rule them. Well, no, but you rule them. I mean, I. I Favored of the with thousand do. cruel curses greet you. Yeah, you are not as strong as I am, so I'm not as worried. 
We're just going to... If they attack the Twisted Glade, we're going to have a little bit of a problem, because then all of my southern armies, um, my southern lands are pretty open to them, but if they attack Chotek's column, I think we are going to defend that rather easily, because look at this garrison. Yeah, Black Arc Corsairs are awesome. Um, what does this army have? I don't know. For now, we're going to Marv, uh, Marv, move Just over to Dreadak's Lair. And again, I'm going to do this so directly because all these small battles, we don't really need to fight. We are going to have enough big battles. I promise Power you that. And we also have a commandment available now. We, will make you we do need um, the public order. Case corruption is good over here, but not good enough yet. So the Circle of Destruction... Ah, they already have the Den of Adendrons. Well, I'm gonna upgrade this to the House of Pleasure. And we're gonna get the roads over here. So that's pretty good. We now have this province under our control. And... You have to chill a bit because this guy has taken over this province, which I, I didn't really expect them to do. Probably can like make treaties with them now. Are they still a rogue army? No, they are now. Oh no, so they are still a rogue army, but they're no longer uh, nomads. So that's interesting. Let us attack. What's this? No. It's a Skaven rebellion. I'll attack Marco Peaks. Um, it's going to be an interesting battle, but a battle that we are going to win, if only Get for our lord. But here, here we go. See, it's a small battle, but it's one where we both have small armies, so that's one we can fight easily. Well, you know, not easily. We are probably going to lose some men, but well, we can fight without being like, this is a waste of my time. Just saying, uh, uh, Warhammer is a very interesting game for me, for a very special reason. Because when I record, I record like one episode usually, and then I'm just done for that day <laughs> with recording. But Warhammer 2 here is somehow drawing me in to record like really long. For example, I'm like recording for three hours or something like right now, which is something I never did before. I'm not like bored or something, I'm actually really still interested. And usually it's because my, I, I don't know, I, you know, talking all the time is pretty difficult and after 40 minutes I'm like, yeah, I just don't want to talk anymore constantly. But again, uh, it's not the case here. So we can't sadly attack them where they don't have too many towers, so we're going to attack them from down here, move over and then attack them right there. Ah, oh, look at these towers. We haven't seen them before. Um, they're pretty sweet. What's... Oh, wow, that's a cool ram. Well, actually, now that I see this, we're going to, of course, attack the gate. And move these two units over here. Actually, we might just attack right there. Get our other units in position. And move forward. You attack this side, you attack right there. And you are moving in to this position. And you're going to move right there. Alright. I saw us might do some damage to us. But hopefully they are focusing down the the towers. It's funny how the towers actually move just as fast as my other units. Yeah, hold that shield up high. That's a large shield, by the way. Oh, that. Okay. He has some... I do love that they are still defending, like, this Lizardman army, and it's not just changing over to a human castle, which would make no sense. And this is a cool gate. It looks like you have to insert the right gems to make them light up, and then it's opening. It's like a puzzle. 
Uh, they have not destroyed one of our siege towers, so that's pretty good. I might want to use my uh, move my bleak my dark shots closer, so they are no longer in the range of the towers. Yeah, probably going to be rather important. And the bleak swords have arrived at the gates. The siege. Come on, move fast. <laughs> Don't retreat, by the way. Okay, let's see. Onto the walls, man! Kill these humans! Kill these foolish mortals! Slaughter them! Slaughter them all! Yes, take their lives. Go up there. Our lady is going to up, going up there now too. Oh god, the Dark Elves are upon us! <laughs> well, for the humans it's probably true, but we want to enslave these people, so please leave as many survivors as you can. And our lord is up here now, our, our lady. <laughs> Stop them, that's... What's that noise? Is that the tower? It is the tower, it's like a... Some kind of electrical noise. Come on! Attack them! We are now attacking the gate as well. Uh, the bleak shots are not, uh, the dark shots are not doing as much damage as I would like them to, but that's to be expected. There's a lot of humans screaming, probably in pain and agony as they are being cut down by my swords. Look at that! They have not killed a single unit over here. They have killed a swordsman on this side. You should probably not call yourself a tyrant. Oh, you were just smacked. Charge. charge! Charge through the gate! Whatever comes through this gate! Hold, man! Hold! Let's kill these foolish humans. Just fighting everywhere against these hordes of darkness. Look at that! They're driving them! together onto the gatehouse because we're attacking them from both sides. Even though over on this side we do have a little bit more of a problem. Where's my lady right there? Just Oh smack that human. And then we of course have our dark shards over there. But they are mostly firing against the wall so maybe not the best idea to use them like this. Uh, the towers are actually this one is under my control. Can you just fire at these guys? Probably not, without killing our own units. Uh, but then again, no, I think Dark Elves are not that much uh, for friendly fire. This unit is actually holding us quite well. But on this side, this is, this, this is really cool. We killed them all over here and now we're driving them up here. It's pretty smart to fight us uh, downstairs here. Move these swords back. And then get our dark shots in like a very thin formation. So that they can fire right at the, the humans holding the gate just. Retreat! Retreat! Ah, oh, the dark elves are retreating! Wait, what's this? Oh, it's just a bunch of dark shots waiting to slaughter us. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh no. What a massacre! <laughs> and there they go. The human defenders are dead, at least on the gate. And we can send in back our humans, uh, our swords, and the dark shots, so that they can fire up against this side. Because this, from here, they don't have the defenses, so we can fire right into their flank. And this unit of bleak swords needs to take care of their swords over there. Um. Why? Why are you going up on the gate, uh, the, the walls? Yes. <laughs> Stop yourself! No, don't go up on the wall. There's a gate, my man. There's a very open gate that you can use. Yeah. Okay, you are uh, charging these humans, which are not charging us, but oh well. Oh look at that, they actually moved away from the 
from the walls here a little bit. But it's not going to save. Actually, that might save them still. Not on this side, though. This side, the dark. Sh oh, and now the prowess has been activated. Slaughter them now. Slaughter them. Let none live. <laughs> Very nice. It's actually a closer battle than I expected. Get out of the way so that they can fire into the flanks. Like, look at that, they are just waiting. Uh, it's a nice angle you have there. But it's still going to kill a lot of them. Yeah. yeah they cannot hide, they cannot flee. We've destroyed them. That was actually closer than I expected. Yeah, then again, we were pretty equal, I suppose. Not that they killed many of us, it's just, it took longer than I thought. Factions of a particular race receive a bonus to diplomatic relations and therefore tend to stick together. Ah, racism at its finest. You know, Warhammer is very interesting because they're like, most factions are pretty, they're pretty much just Nazis. The Empire, for example, are like, yeah, we are the superior race to everyone else, but we still tolerate them somewhat, like the Dwarves, for example, they are, uh, we can accept them somewhat. And then they're like the Dark Elves, who are just like, yeah, we are, of course, superior to everyone else. Um, the Lizard Man, uh, definitely. Like, they are just, we must exterminate every other race that is not perfect, and, oh, news came just in, we are the only perfect race. So, <laughs> they're all pretty much, uh, superiorist. They, they all think they're superior. So, that's, that's pretty fine. That's some nice thinking they have got there. And then they're just the ogres, who just want to eat everyone and everything because they have like I don't know what's up with the ogres I think there's like a curse on their people that they just have to constantly eat but I'm kind of worried like I, 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 ogres are interesting because apparently they are not evil even though they eat everything they come across but they can also like actually control their hunger somewhat. For example, I think in Ostland there's a... Uh, uh, as I have seen in my other Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2, and I... I trust the devs of the Crusader Kings 2 Geimsnacht mod to know their fluff a little bit better than I do, and they... Uh, Ostland has a special building where they can get ogres, and I do know that ogres do sometimes work for humans. I am beyond defeat. Uh, you are beyond defeat. No, actually, that's not true. You. Power, dark, violent. Um, I don't know what about to do about these reds. I would usually destroy the building here, but I want some couple of spears before we do this. So, I think that's all she wrote. Uh, of course, Morafi needs another. Um. Let's get Iron Disciplinary. Unassigned skill points, you're the death hack. The death hack. Definitely a replenishment rate, because that's awesome. Um, the, the Red Lord of Shield and Sword. Uh, do I want to give you... I want to have you a Black Dragon at some point, so you're gonna get a Steed. A Dark Steed. And we're going to finish our next research here soon. That's also very nice. We are losing a lot of slaves, as you... See, uh, saw. We already are below 10,000 again. Yeah, get out of here. Ah, oh, no, he just performed damage walls against Shotex Causeway. Don't attack Shotex Causeway. Uh, I hope these rats are not attacking me and they're just going to move on against their actual target. Why am I so weak in comparison to these other major factions, by the way? We Druki all want something. Yeah, you want me to join? No. I do not wish to fight the Lawmasters. 
I see no reason to do that. I do want to destroy Lothan, but that's just not happening. I'm very worried because I the next ritual is going to be absolutely devastating. I, these Chaos armies are just mad. <laughs> oh, there's a spider. Hello, spider. Oh, there's another spider. That's why they call these the Field of Spiders. Uh, there's a pretty large army coming. Well, Marco Peaks is going to be well defended. I mean, I'm not too worried about this. And Chotex Causeway is a strong garrison, to, I, uh, you know, as well. That does mean we can't just move on to attack them. And what are we going to do about the Scarpel's Lair? Well, we have to destroy them in our march north. Yeah, a lot of stuff happening. So, hidden run. Weapon strength for shades and dark units. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't really need this, but I might get it anyways. You need 3,000 and then you need 5,000. Hmm. How many do we get per turn? Uh, about 39. <laughs> <laughs> with about, I mean, of course, we get exactly 39. I don't like that we aren't even getting reinforcements within the settlement. Um, that's pretty bad. Absolutely not. And this is a actually a bit more of a scary army. Corruption of the is it Fallen sword. Gate? Um, can upgrade them now. I have dark purpose. You have dark purpose indeed. For Get a couple more spears and you know another unit of dark shards no. just because you need more troops. The very air now you are violence. a problem because. You are taking too long to actually regain your troops. And I wanted to have you attack them on this side already. Hack Graf. This is going to be an interesting one because he does have a slave gate over here. And I don't know what the special building of Hack Graf is. He does not build it though. I am we are going to lay siege to Hack Graf. No stopping and okay, he has a lord. He has a Dafak and a Balthoro. And then a pretty scary garrison. We're not going to get towers. Because I don't want to spend too much to time sieging slaughter. them. We're just going to attack it. Uh, the Temple of Cain is over here and then Stoic Core. So it's a pretty straightforward march over here. But we need another army. We need additional pylons in the Twisted Glade. We can't actually. We need to have them in the Vol's Anvil then. The and we're going to get this one. It's going to lower our me, money quite a lot. My dark yes. Ah, I <laughs> told you. She has dark desires. Um, you are going to get some dual wielding shades as well. I need you to have an army quickly raised here. You are my assassin still. Okay. What else do I want to give you? You are a... Ah, oh, got a fighter, of course. Siege construction available? Yeah, no, not right now. We don't want to end the turn. That's the, that's the thing. We did construct a lot of buildings. Uh, you are doing your stuff down here. You're going to be attacked by this man right now. But that's not a problem. I wish I could move you north and still have you be reinforced, but we don't have a... Hmm. Is this a port? It is. Do I want to get one of my dark uh, black arcs over here? Probably not, if I have to guess. Um, how much slaves are we losing per month? I don't know. Decline per turn, 2%. Mm. Uh, this is... Uh, Ice Rock Gorge and Temple of Android. At the, this one, we definitely need these. Wait, he lost this province? To whom? To you? Have you destroyed this? Oh. Well, let's fight Hagraf. 
arms, Druki. To arms, Druki. <laughs> Let us fight them on the field of battle. In the siege the settlement. The battlefield is the terrain on which the battle takes place. Who would have thought? The edges of the battlefield are shown as wide li lines drawn on the battlefield when the camera is closed. Okay, so... It's a pretty straightforward battle here. I might use my bolt throws to disable one of the towers, so I don't have to deal with them. It's going to be a brutal battle. Don't... Don't, uh... Fool yourself. Because he also has, like, Black Guard of Nagarond, and he has heroes and just a bunch of Black Arcosairs. He might even outnumber us. But we need to open we need to open the gate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my army over here. We're going to destroy this tower. Might destroy this tower too. We're going to set some of our units up on the wall over here. Another unit with uh, my cavalry, of course, is going to be, to be dispatched to take down the gate. Morafi is just going to have a field day on the walls and just casting all of her spells. But I need to be careful so that she doesn't just get shut down. Um, the death egg definitely needs to go on the ga uh, the walls and lead the charge. And whoa! Oh. You know what this reminds me of? Especially this this construction right here. This is this right here. This is straight up taken out of battle for Middle Earth two, and this is um. Uh, what's the capital called of um, Angmar? <laughs> Where the Witch King lives? Um, I can't remember, but this is this definitely looks like his f uh, castle. So. We are going to position our army over here, because we want to destroy this tower before we get into range. Oh, maybe my death hack is not going to lead the wall charge. Uh, what is this thing doing for you anyway? I don't know. But there's a good old statue of him. I don't know what this thing can do. So. Let's get our Corsairs right here, and then our Blackguards. They're going to be the ones assaulting the walls. Our Shades. I don't know what to do with them. Uh, well, I do know what to do with them, but you know what I mean. Then we get our Cold ones. And our Chariots. The Death Hack is going to lead this army. And it's going to be supported by the Hydra, of course. This is the force that is going to attack the gate. You're going to stay back. The Witch Elves are going to lead this charge, together with the Assassin. And Morafi is going to stay back. So you're going to be position 2, or 1 I suppose. You're going to be formation 2. And the rest is just going to shield. We are not going to gamble. Um, you're going to open fire on the tower. One is going to march over here. And we're going to get our dark shards, or our shades over here. Get the harpies over here. Morafi is going to fly right here. So he of course has dark shards as well. And this, uh, this tower is dealing a lot of damage to us. We're going to destroy it as soon as I can before it kills too many of my my units here. Retreat actually because he is killing a lot of my knights with this tower. So I want to get out of its range. Murafi, you can just cast a pit right in between these guys. Have these dark shards. He has one unit actually not looking at us, which is fine. But yeah, disrupt this formation so it isn't firing at us. Shades, you need to move a bit. Because this tower is doing too much damage to me right now. He does have two units of harpies over here too. The spell has done its damage and they are falling back. Stupid tower, man. 
They're still in its range. Shouldn't be able to fire at you anymore. Oh, and he's no longer having it, so... Move. Move up. And you're going to move over to the gate. You can now... Get this. Did you kill these guys or what happened over here? Okay, he has taken care of uh, back control of the tower and he is casting a spell on us. Black Ark Corsairs up on the walls with you. Morafi, just a spell right down here. Do two spells just for the good measurement. Um. You get over here on the walls. Which else, of course. You're going on the walls. There's a lot of spells coming. Don't know what's firing at me right now. But get destroying. Uh, could you all just run? I don't know why you're so slow. No, no, run. Hurry up. You should hurry up. Come on. Get going. There's a lot of spells coming down for you. The fight on the walls has begun. Our black arc corsairs are firing, uh, fighting everywhere. Get Morafi behind their lines. Um, do we have another spell? Um, cast it right here. Where he has a lot of units. Assassin, get in there. And what do we have over here? Some black arc corsairs too. Um, can these towers fire at us? No, they cannot. And here's some. Attack the gate. This part of the wall is just being overrun by us right now. This is sorceress, so attack that. Don't know exactly what's going on because it's, there's quite a lot of stuff happening. Uh, get the harpies over here to attack these black arc corsairs. We're going to attack these guys down here. Victory is in our grasp already, okay. If you say so. Yeah. Okay, there come his uh, his harpies. Trying to get our uh, shades over here in position. There's a death hack killing my units. And there's just a lot of stuff happening. Get killing over here. Just black guard of Nagarant. The harpy is. Uh, the. Not harpy. You know what I mean. My harpies have done their job over here. Attack the enemy harpies. More harpies right there. Fire at them, shades. Take them down. Oh, look at them drop to the ground. Yeah, they are routing already. Oh. Murderous prowess has been activated. The gate is still not open. I have no idea what's going on on the walls, all things considered. Um, there's just a lot of stuff happening. Like, we also have nearly identical colors, so... Apart from them having a rat in the middle, it's nearly exactly the same. Get over here and attack these guys. You are fighting a death hack, which is probably not the best choice for you. Attack the death hack. The enemy gates are destroyed. Get in there. Get in there. Where's my heart? Uh, right there. Okay, let's see our call drones. Just charge in. Oh, <laughs> just smacked her out of the way. Attack these bow throwers. Uh, they're like, oh shit, 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 we need to get down here. Um, I don't know what these chariots can do. Anti infantry, primal instincts. Get the hydra over here. Okay. They are attacking us now. 
with a lot of black guards. Hydra, turn around and spit your fire at them. Victory, okay, I have no idea what happened. No, oh, these two guys just got burned to death. Um, this battle was a bit weird, to be honest. I have no idea what happened. Uh, there was just so much stuff going on, I... I, I don't really know what... <laughs> what went down. But apparently we won. I do like field battles more in this game. Because, first of all, the siege battles are a bit messy. You only attack one side and then just... I had no idea what to, I had no overview anymore. I just lost. <laughs> well, I didn't lost any units or something. I just lost like control of the battle. But my units were strong enough to do it. The shades, of course, this fantastic units. They're so good. I love them. I lost a couple of more dark riders or cold runs than I wanted to, but huh, can't really do much there. So, what? We're going to take Hakgraf. No, is this, this is Hakgraf. Yeah, it's the capital province of them. So that's nice. And we are making fast progress now against them. We still need to do the next ritual, which is a bummer. <laughs> I, I'm scared of the next ritual. Even though, if I put my army like... This this army right next to where the army spawn, then I think we can take care of them rather easily. As we saw, one of my not so elite armies it actually was a very elite army, considering they had a lot of gold chevrons, but they've defeated a lot of them. And they, they, they nearly took out one of their armies, so that was impressive. Gold, we're going to, to occupy Hackgraf. Confident Besieger, of course, the Clan of Command. Enemy killed in battle, enemy killed in battle. And Hackgraf is ours. Let's see, what can we build here? It is a landmark. Oh, no, it's the face of Hackgraf. Far, far below Hackgraf, slaves toil in the darkness for their master's wealth. Oh, the eye of Hackgraf, the mines of Hackgraf, and then we get the dark crack. So we get iron and marble. And gold, of course, income. Um, unit experience for cold. Well, what? Oh, that's pretty cool. Is it only in this province, though? It's in all provinces. And upkeep. Oh my god, that's so good. Get that stuff built immediately. So, of course, there's an army coming from the north. And we now have to move over to the Temple of Cain and then over here. And sadly, they don't have any kind of. They don't have scrolls over here. They say scroll over here, but we don't want to fight Negaron for it. But we're going to end the episode here. I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, then consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And we will see us in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye. Bye.